day two of our do-it-yourself retreat 33 days to merciful love yesterday we learned about trust and we prayed this beautiful little prayer throughout the day as i recommend i suggest uh, for you to write it down on a sticky note index card and take it with you and pull it out as many times as you need to as the holy spirit inspires you to go over this prayer again come holy spirit fire of mercy help me better to know the great and unsurpassable goodness of god so now here we go with day number two our father in faith Yesterday, we learned that it's all about trust. More precisely, we learned that it's all about our lack of trust and that the wound of the original sin causes us to tend to hide from God because we doubt his goodness. But there is something else about trust, a key ingredient that will help us better understand what it is, an ingredient that comes from our father in faith, our father in trust, the patriarch, Abraham. Father Abraham, we all know the story. God put Abraham to the test. He commanded him to sacrifice him, his dearly beloved son, Isaac. And Abraham was willing to do it. He was willing to prove to God that he loved him more than his own son. And so the test was really all about love, right? Wrong. It was actually about faith, not love. Abraham's test was, above all, a test of faith. How so? Let me explain. Abraham's whole walk with God was a walk of faith. For instance, God had called Abraham, who was the name Abraham, from his home country. Go from your country and your kindred in your father's house to the land that I will show that I will show you and I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing Genesis 12 1 2 one night after embarking on his journey, on his journey, Abraham complained to the Lord that he was childless and had no children. God then directed his gaze to the multitude of stars in the sky and promised him, So shall your descendants be. Genesis 15, 5. Abraham believed the Lord's word and he was later given a son. Through his wife Sarah, though she was beyond childbearing years. See Genesis 21, 1, 2, 3. God promised Abraham, who was now Abraham, that through the son Isaac, he would establish an everlasting covenant with him and his descendants, blessing them with his saving presence and protection. See Genesis 17, 1, 21. Finally, in Genesis 22, God put Abraham's faith to the ultimate test when he commanded Abraham to sacrifice, to sacrifice Isaac. This was the ultimate test of faith because it was through Isaac that God had promised to make Abraham bless in a great nation. Could the world be blessed? through a dead son? How could Isaac have children if he were if he were to kill as a child? If he were killed as a child? Abraham's temptation clearly would have been to think that God is a liar, that he doesn't keep his promises. After all, to kill Isaac would be to destroy the hope of the promised future blessing through Isaac. What a hard test. Yet, Abraham was ready to go through with it. 
he was ready to kill Isaac as he had been commanded. Why? Because of his faith. The letter to the Hebrews expresses it best. By faith, Abraham had by faith, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac shall your descendants be named. He considered that God was able to raise men even from the dead. Hebrews 11, 17-19 There is the marvel of Abraham's faith. He believed God's promise even to the extent of hoping against hope. Romans 4.18 And consider that God was able to raise up Isaac, even from the dead. That is faith. What is why Abraham truly is our father in faith? In fact, he teaches us the essence of faith, which is to believe God's word, to believe that God is faithful to his promises, to believe that God is faithful even if it seems impossible. Now, as our father in faith, Abraham is the complete opposite of our mother in doubt, Eve. After all, unlike Eve, Abraham refused to give in to the temptation to think that God is a liar, to think that God doesn't keep his promises, to think that God is not good. May Abraham's example of faith help us to overcome the effects of original sin caused by Eve's doubt. In other words, May you help us to trust God's promises and even to hope against hope. Today's prayer. As we're learning to trust God, we already did day one and now we're doing day two. And day two is come Holy Spirit, fire of mercy, Please give me such trust in God's word that I might even hope against hope. Tomorrow, we are going to learn about our mother in faith. So, let's go ahead and review day one. Let's pray that little prayer together again. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fire of mercy. Help me better to know the great and unsurpassable goodness of God. And we learn that Father Abraham had a beautiful faith and trust in God. And today we're praying for Come, Holy Spirit, fire of mercy, please give me such trust in God's word that I might even hope against hope. And I should have erased one and put two, but this is the prayer for day number two. Thank you, and may God bless you and those who you love. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and share.